Hi, my name is Roger Ahuja, and I'm going to take a moment and talk to you about the backup program in Windows 8.1 and how it's a little different from uh, Windows 8. Now, before I get too far into this, um, there are two types of backup. There's one where you just back up your data files, which is called file history in um, Windows 8.1, and Windows uh, 8, it's also called file history. And then there's a system image backup where it backs up your entire hard drive, programs, applications, um, data files, the whole nine yards. Um, in Windows 8, it was called Windows 7 File Recovery. Now, Windows 7 File Recovery is no longer available in Windows 8.1. So let's start with um, the backup. And we can just uh, start typing here, um, file history and it'll take us to file history and right now um, I have the uh, first thing I'm going to do is select a device where I want to back up file history 2 so it's going to go through a search here and then once it finds the backup drive I just select that and hit OK and uh, I'm going to say no to this because I have done this before uh, for testing purposes, um, but you might want to say yes. It just depends on what you've done before. Um, okay, so right now I've set up file history, and what it's basically doing is making a copy of all of my files onto the external hard drive and making a backup of it. And it's really that simple. Um, we're, we could effectively stop here. All your data files are backed up. But what it's not going to back up is your programs. Um, before I get into that, let me just hit uh, touch on advanced settings here. And in here, you can change how frequently you want it to back up. I recommend every 10 minutes, especially if it's a desktop machine. Um, you're probably not even going to notice that it's running in the background. And um, anyways, that's the way I would do it. Um, as far as keeping saved versions, at some point you'll run out of space on your external hard drive. So I change it until space is needed um, that's just the way I do it but uh, you have to decide for yourself what works best for you um, so going back here as far as creating a system image now Microsoft um, put this thing here this uh, manual click you can create a system image by clicking on it and running it manually as of right now there's no automated method of creating an image backup on a scheduled basis so Unless you're going to do a, a script line, there are some PowerShell scripts you could do, but most average users aren't going to bother with that. And the reality of it is um, most people aren't even going to use this system image backup because you have to manually do it. So Microsoft's really made it so that you pretty much the only backup program they're really offering is the file history um, on an automated basis. I really do hope that um, Microsoft will rethink this. I, I can only imagine what their thinking uh, process is, and which I'm going to guess here um, is that they're trying to put everything through the application store, through the app store, um, that they want all of the vendors to go through the app store. Because um, if you have to reinstall, if you have to refresh your PC, um, Microsoft will restore all applications when you do a Windows 8 refresh. It'll restore all your applications that you were installed through the App Store. But if you have Adobe Photoshop Elements or Adobe Photoshop or uh, Avid Studio, and name a few programs that are not available through the um, Windows Store right at this moment, um, it's not going to restore those programs. And um, so I hope Microsoft will rethink this uh, and at least give us an opportunity to uh, create a schedule to do a system image backup and um, the other thing of note that I want to mention in this video is that um, this does this program only backs up the files in your PC it does not back up anything in SkyDrive uh, Windows 8.1 kind of pushes um, the SkyDrive and uh, that is the direction that Microsoft is obviously headed um, I'll address that in a separate video in the future, but basic on how to back up and restore from SkyDrive. But basically, um, this pro this particular file history program doesn't touch the the data in the SkyDrive at all. And that's it for now.